Greetings, Jumelang, Molweni, Sanibonani. Welcome again to another episode, an educational episode, a conversational episode of the Stockfell Revolution podcast. Today we are talking about a very, very important topic, generational wealth, where Stockfells are concerned, of course. So today's topic is structuring Stockfells for generational wealth. And I have my favorite guy here who's going to be having this conversation with me, Gavin Mkabela, an author, strategist, and a Stockfell advisor. Gavin, welcome to our podcast. Great to have you here. Thank you for having me. It's such an honor. Uh, thank you so much. Um, Gavin, I, this topic is, 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 is very hard, especially among uh, um, uh, Stockfells and where wealth is concerned, where we want uh, Stockfells to be, uh, people from Stockfells to mm. be millionaires, uh, rather just uh, have this 50 billion industry with no millionaires. But before we get into that, um, I want to know your Stockfell story. That's our theme uh, question mm. in the podcast. I want to know what was your first encounter with Stockfells. Can you take us through that? Yo, my, my first encounter that yeah, it goes way back, eh? way back when I was young. Uh, so I used to live with Ukoko, my great grand in Winterfeld, uh, it's northwest of Pretoria, so you pass Boma Um, and then my great my my grand, who's my mom's mom, um, used to work in Joburg, um, Bodikishini, and, and so she would come, uh, I think, twice a month. But now they they had this they call it Indaba Syndicate. So it was a a stock fair, a burial society. You know the old fashioned mm-hmm. kind of stock fells. Um, and then then they will rotate. You know um, from house to house. And um, because my grand used to work a, 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 in the in the kitchens, I don't know how you put it in English. Mm-hmm. Um, but <laughs> now <laughs> yeah, it's, she used to cook like mm-hmm. prop like proper stuff like mm-hmm. that, you know. Yeah, so they knew the, the other guys that when my grand is hosting, mm. I know the mm. it's gonna be nice. They're gonna eat nicely or trifle mm. trifle and all of those things. So now it used to irritate me because the guys used to eat everything. <laughs> <laughs> so they used to eat everything, even with the scab tea. I'm like, guys, we are in like semi rural area, you guys are driving Benz, Mercedes Benz and PM, but you are even <laughs> taking <you> everything. <laughs> So, you know, but that was my, my first, um, I think, experience. But there were, there were a lot. I think at the time, you know, even my uncles, they had these, well, at the time they used to call it the Gazi. Mm-hmm. So the Gazi was really like, but... So from, interesting that they were male. Yeah, the, the, those ones were from Makrotma, you know, mm-hmm. very brand new suit, mm-hmm. brand, brand, leather. brand new suit, leather jacket. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, so they would chill every Saturday and Gazi. It will be the cream, you know, hi fi at the time it was called the cream. Mm. So they would pump up the cream, cream ew, and hey, it was it was a part. Mm. But it was mostly around burial stuff, you know. Mm. So if there's a family bereavement uh, go, go guy guy, then they would definitely pop up that man. Mm. You know, I don't know how they used to break bread, actually let's go trying to find mm. out. But yeah, it, the money will come out. And so they were, they were never your fight, background right? is around <laughs> burial society. Ah, it's a yeah. burial society. They're still yeah. the biggest um, type of stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but that's very interesting. But yeah. um, coming to you, Gavin, the person that is so yeah. passionate about people and adding value to them, tell us about yourself um, and especially where stock fills are mm. concerned and collaboration. So, yo, um, so yeah, I think that my background is a banking background. So I used to work in the home loan space mm. and I then went into property finance. Um, I think that was my last uh, part of like your corporate corporate mm. where I then decided to go into business, cleaning business. Um, and then I went to financial advising, young Brapa, and then mm. I ended up you know, in, in property as a, from an investment perspective. And I think really to be excited about um, stock fails was, was this one particular stock fail. I'll never forget them. The ladies, the queen dog ladies. Mm. And um, they came in and they wanted to do, you know, something, um, you know, for themselves. Mm. It was just, you know, all these kind of ladies and they bought about two properties there. So they just yeah. came for a consultation. The consultation, but it was like crazy. I mean, like the first consultation, they had like food, 
I'm like in the office, <laughs> it was like amazing, like my face, that was itching there. <laughs> <laughs> you know, but, but, but it was great. I, I started to see uh, the, the, the different side of stock fails from a property element. And I think mm-hmm. at the time, I mean, that was like three years back. It, it, I think we we're still trying it out. It was mm-hmm. not like an in day. So I started just pumping on it. I'm like, this is great. Mm-hmm. Imagine if we can start here and do other things, franchising and all of that aspect. And basically, that's where the love started. Um, and then I think I, I did, I don't know if it was, no, the, yeah, the same year then I did uh, the stock failing days or where we came uh, different industries. Where I met you. You, you met me there. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and, and then I started to, to see a different side to it. Um, but I think, obviously, from that point on, I, I started looking looking at stock failed differently than your old methods of burial societies. Rosaries, or even Nepis. Apparently, there was stuff for Nepis, but yeah. A great idea. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> wonderful. <laughs> <That's amazing. laughs> exactly. You know, oh, but yeah, that's that's who I am. I'm a father of two beautiful girls. Um, yeah, you know, so uh, that's oh, just oh, amazing. Ah, oh, you just touched on it already. Um, but what made you come up with the stock fair in I remember mm-hmm. it. It was almost like a educational but at the same time like some kind of an expo for, mm. for, for people that are in stock sales to just come and learn yeah. different ways of uh, of stock selling now yeah. basically yeah. but what what are the thinking behind um the stock selling mm. user i think i mean at the time i was i was i was really thinking about because you know when you start to look at things something differently it then opens your eyes in a, in another way because i started to like wow so we can actually do so much, right? We can go, go into agriculture, we can go into franchising, we can go into, you know, um, you know, livestock, like everything. We can definitely do that from that point on. And the idea there was just imagine if we come together. Mm-hmm. Imagine when an ordinary person can see that they can plug in into different stock fields, other than your typical stock fields that we normally use mm-hmm. to. And 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 of course they the 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 you know, the dream is still alive there. You know, there's something that I'm working on in that front. But it, it was just basically that. So why don't we come together? You know, apart from, you know, just working in silos to say, no, there's a property stock fell there. There's a franchise stock fell there. And remember as well, we, we still need a, a lot of buy-in, um, in, especially from our communities. Mm. You know, and the ones that need it the most, which are, you know, the townships in the rural areas. So we still need that, but of course, it we need to start, you know, first uh, change the mindset. Mm. Yeah. So I definitely um, I enjoyed uh, the the Inviso a lot, and one of the things that I came up with, uh, came out with was definitely that all these great, all these things are great, and uh, and uh, they do enable uh, mm. stock sales to participate into, but it's not a straight. Um, uh, journey and mm. uh, uh, there's still so much that is just seen. Oh, we're just a stock fell. How you yeah. how we're gonna be able to invest yeah. uh, in property? Um, uh, how can you buy a franchise as mm. a stock fail? How can you invest in somebody's business as a stock? Like there are a lot of questions in terms of what vehicles do you use to mm. do that? Since the stock fell itself in its natural nature is uh, yeah. quite hard to do so. Mm. So what I wanted to ask you was. Um, so stock fell strategically, how can they place themselves to 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 be generational wealth vehicles mm. uh, according to yeah. you? I, I think that that question is, is is really deep in a sense that I really believe that we we firstly need to go back because you know you you can tackle something from a, a face baby or from the roots, and what makes it much more uh, effective is the roots. Because you need to now start to understand the thinking that people have, an understanding that people have. So, for example, we talk about, you know, in investment, we talk about asset classes. Now, if we go to these people that we want to convert from a thinking perspective so that they can buy into stock sales, do they even know what are the different asset classes? Right? So, it starts there. Mm-hmm. So, if we can start from that point on, uh, I really believe that we're going to start to progress much more effectively. It's, it's not a, it's, I don't think it's even a 10-year thing. Mm-hmm. I think it's, it's, it's a 30-year thing that we need to really, when we start making an impact, 
But I really believe that we need to start changing the environment in a sense that let, let us start asking those questions that are deep around, you know, your understanding first of mm. investment. Or education. Education. Mm. We have to start with education. Yeah, Ish, we spoke, uh, I always uh, I say um, in this podcast that we are an educational podcast more than anything. And one of the things when we have our teaching moments is how important important education is and when we say education we don't mean formal education mm -hmm. informing yourself even if you've got a phd yeah. you always have something to learn especially when you are trying to customize something that hasn't been done in like stock files mm -hmm. trying to get uh, stock files to be in these places that they were not able to so there's a lot of learnings mm -hmm. um in, in 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 that process so if you're gonna be a stock file member you must be open um uh, to learning in different ways of how can we actually take uh, these um, advantages but we need to learn and you said something very important around um, asset classes and I wanted to ask you that you know as a strategist and we, um, ideally we want stock fells to create wealth mm -hmm. we want uh, people from stock fells uh, to, to actually say if somebody says I've been in a stock fell for 20 years to actually show yeah. what have you gotten out of being in a stock fell for 20 years. I like our mothers and our grandmothers where they were in stock fells and um, it, this industry grew. Mm -hmm. uh, it will be this 50 uh, uh, million industry, but uh, when you're taking it to an individual level, you're like, but how did you make money out yeah. of this thing? And what can I take from you? I mean, mm -hmm. we are very grateful that they came up with such a great model mm -hmm. of, 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 of a stock fell. But how can wealth be generated uh, and preserved, most importantly, mm -hmm. or protected yeah. um, uh, using uh, stock fell with the understanding of asset classes? Mm -hmm. So I think, you know, obviously asset classes is, 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 is the driver, is the vehicle. But I think the other important aspect of it is firstly understand what are preservation tools. Um, so I mention a lot even in the book around things such as trust, mm. right? Where, I mean, a lot of people don't even know the different trust, mm. right? They don't even know the intervivos trust to a testamentary trust. And there's always this perception that you are cast up for rich people. Yes, always cast up babies. <laughs> yeah, the cast up babies, that's for, for, for rich people. So people don't even know how to preserve, you know, um, wealth, mm. let alone how do you create it. So, so those are the important aspects where we need to teach people around such tools. Um, you know, in, 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 in the consultation on a daily uh, basis, I talk about that. I'm passionate about it. Where to say, do you even know the issue of tax? Because when we talk about wealth, right, there's always that income generation aspect, mm -hmm. right? So you're going to generate income from these assets. Now, what, what is the issue around tax? Do people know about that? Mm -hmm. Do they know about the issue around creditors? Because if you look at um, COVID came and it destroyed so much because mm. some people would have um, assets under their names, mm. right? Because they didn't know that there's a mechanism where you can actually preserve them. You can, you can protect uh, your assets under you know, instruments such as trust, right? So those are the things that people now need to understand. People need to know when I pass away, okay. what happens? The fact that you I was know. in a stock fell, that I was investing you know. in this big assets. Yes, right. That... Yeah, and, and then now that, that is from an individual perspective. So how now do we take it to a stock fail? Because now you can teach me something called stock failing that actually I needed to know from a personal level. Mm. And that is why we see a lot of issues now mm. with stock fails from an asset perspective. Because when we save him, it's, we save him. Mm. And then Tibata mm. Chalta, now mm. I take it and it's asset fine. Has right, yeah. Now, asset is, is this thing. We bought this thing, it's, it's, it's not moving, it's a house, right? Now you decide after two years, because you see, okay, the value has gone yeah. up, I want to pull up. The question is now, how do you mitigate against that? Mm. Now I'm married in community of property, mm. and then I divorce 
Then my wife was like, hey, Baba, you also have that one. Mm. I want it. You also invested yeah, with the stock fell. Yeah, the stock fell, that one. You guys have, hey, you have 20 houses. Mm. I, want, I want my share. Mm. So how does that now, you know, disturb mm. what we are trying to fix? Very important aspects. Um, another teaching moment here is definitely important that if you are getting into a stock fell, or investment lab um, or you're collaborating within a group and you're going to invest in an asset it's very important to 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 know what kind of people that you are collaborating with your members are they married in community or property um they are credits they are seekers these things that if we really want to 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 get into with the big boys as as, as a group we have to also act and educate and inform ourselves like the the, the, the big boys so what structures are going to be used if you're going to be using a trust um, you need to be consulting with a professional that's going to help you how does the trust work if you're going to be using a company a cooperative or whatever entity um, and these are the things that uh, that are always encourage uh, stock files that uh, to, to, to operate from a professional level, consult and, and uh, uh, get into asking what are the risks. Um, uh, a stock that is investing, there will always be risks. There is an entity that you are going to have to be dealing with. Those things do need some kind of expert advice in order for everybody to be on the same page. And what uh, Gavin and me were talking about outside this was actually how that... Oh, then those lessons most of the time are just for the leadership because they're the ones that are directly involved in that process. So we need, if like the, especially the, the stock fell leaders in whatever form of a leader that you are in, but in the industry, we need to be in a at a point where we are really sharing um, uh, the challenges and the, and, 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 and the lessons uh, that can get out of this. So that when a person uh, get out of that stock fell, they have gotten more than just money by uh, by learning to invest in that certain uh, um, uh, uh, asset. So um, you mentioned a trust. I wanted to, to, to understand, since we are talking about uh, um, wealth preservation and wealth uh, 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 generating wealth, and a trust is, is such a, a good one, uh, and I've seen a lot of stock sales now using um, mm. uh, the trust in order to actually build on this thing of should I die, and I'm in a stock fell that has invested in something through a trust, at least my kids or my family would be able to 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 have something. So we are mm -hmm. starting really a stock fells that are, are are looking for to be generational wealth. Mm -hmm. Are there other entities um, and even investment opportunities that um, that stock fells would uh, can look into in terms of 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 of, of investing in? Um, considering their dynamics and their unique uniqueness um yeah i mean i mean there's a lot um i think um, the, the beautiful thing about where we are currently is that we are trying so many things mm -hmm. you know so we are franchise and the most important yeah. is people must know so to yeah. catch you these things have never been done yes so these before yeah so, so this is such a trial and error it, it is time it is, it is. so not yeah. all of them are gonna work yeah. out yeah, but I, I think what is important is, I mean, you touched on the issue of founders, um, you know, seemingly benefiting more than the, you know, the, the, the members, mm -hmm. so That's to speak, really cool, yeah. because I, I, I really believe, and, and some of the things that uh, one is working on, is that we need to understand, we, stock fail should be a platform to create. But it's not a platform, according to me, it shouldn't be a platform to create within the institution of Stockfeld, so to speak. It should be there, but it should filter through individuals. Uh, the 10 members that are there, has their life changed? Mm. Because if now their lives are not changing from an individual perspective, then exactly what, what is the objective mm. of this unit? Because now we talk about assets, right? We're talking about creating wealth. Mm -hmm. Whose wealth are we creating? Or who, who, like, who are we creating this wealth for? If it's generational, it should be for yeah, everyone. Yeah, right. Exactly. It should be that the members are the ones. Mm -hmm. Because I always talk about it, even when I, I talk to Stockfell, is that this is a starting point. Mm -hmm. This is a vehicle you use. Mm -hmm. 
but it doesn't end here, Definitely. right? Because it needs to benefit the members. I mean, it's just like a trust. You have a trustee, mm. you have beneficiary, mm. right? The trustee is going to pass away, and then the beneficiaries are going to benefit mm. from the trust. Mm. And that's exactly what the stock fund should be doing. Mm. But it can't just be a vehicle that then you, as, a, as founders, as board members, as a, you know, the, the committee there, we are the ones now who are really, you can see, like, wow, mm. you know, this thing is happening. No, but then... So talking know. of that, it's, it's very interesting um, because I'm just thinking of this particular example. Um, there's, uh, we are very loud when there are marketing investments or opportunities or business opportunities and say we can do this together. Mm. And um, obviously we know that business and investment um, uh, carry some sort of, 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 of risk. Mm. And um, also we know that in order... For, if we have decided to do this as a group, as we say, it needs to benefit of everybody, mm. but it can also be a risk for everybody. Yeah. Just like um, uh, when it needs everybody's participation. And mm. what I've seen from also personal experience is sometimes why you would see is the board or the leadership or the committee uh, involved mm. that is because there's still so much lack of participation for the people that actually say they want this thing to work out mm. in order to invest in this particular asset. Um, and, and some opportunities depend so much in actually all of you working together mm. in order to make it a success. And that doesn't always happen other way. So I want to, uh, I'm just echoing that um, it's very important that it filters to the members, but the members also have a responsibility mm. to participate. And that is currently very low in a lot of stock funds. Mm. And I understand that there's different types of investors, the passive and the yeah. active ones. But especially with uh, where it's clear that we are needed in all, use all our efforts mm. in order to make this thing work, then everybody that goes into that is quite clear that that is the expectation. Mm. But one other thing that I want us to touch and je just before we, we conclude is definitely the risk mm. mitigating uh, factors around when we are ge generating wealth. Wealth comes with a lot of risk. Mm. Assets come with a lot yeah. of risks. Yeah. And um, we go into these investments or these opportunities um, at the back of our mind, knowing mm. that it's a risk, but when it actually doesn't work out and the actual risk that is perceived to have always been there anyway does happen, um, it's not usually obviously uh, welcomed in a, in, in, in a proper manner, mm. but even though we knew that this is mm. a risk, how can, because stockfills are very risk averse, mm. how can stockfills in their, in their journey of creating wealth with everything that we've spoken about um, and still um, learn the risk mm. management or other even any mm. risk management techniques that can be used out there. That is a tricky one. <laughs> it's a tricky one because, um, as you mentioned, there is different aspect of investing. Um, and if we're really talking about ownership, because I always like to differentiate, mm. you know, between these things. So you say there's a there's a passive invest. There's some who just I'm putting 10,000 now. I want to do anything. I just want to put my... Yeah, so we need to have a distinction mm -hmm. between that. Because that you can now expect that person to now go run around. Mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. I'm just putting my... You do something about mm -hmm. it. Right? And then, then there's an the ownership aspect, which is actually the one that we also need to concentrate a lot on. Because when we talk about generational something, you're not talking about uh, passive. Mm -hmm. you're talking Ten, that 1,000 every month. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm talking about an asset that gives me the 1,000. Mm -hmm. So when we now talk about ownership, this is where now the education needs to be, right? Because you need to spend more time educating the people that you are dealing with. Mm -hmm. Because remember now that looking at the, the, the dynamics around our community, you know, we are black people. We come, you know, historically from a much more disadvantaged kind of background. Mm. So exposure is a problem. Mm. I always tell people, it's like, I believe our biggest issue is exposure. Mm. It's more than education. Yeah, it's not, it's not Google. I can Google and find stuff and watch videos and stuff. No, that, that's exposure not the problem. is so important. Expo an exposure of, I've seen it. I've experienced it, mm. right? Because if you look at, for example, let's use, you know, Indian people. I mean, the child grows up at the shop. Mm. I don't care if you're going to your MBA. Mm. The experience there is not the same. Mm. That one already is, 
uh, 10 times more than you because he has seen everything. He has mm. seen the trials and errors. He worked cash flow, stock out. He's seen maybe the, the shop was burnt down and it's been rebuilt again. So that is experience, that is exposure. Mm. So we don't have that most of the time. So now you're taking somebody who has been told all of his life that money is a problem. Yes. Abundance is a problem. Just buy one house, my child and have a title deed. You have made it in life. Mm, now you're going to show, you come to me and say, let's own building. It sounds nice, mm. <laughs> but when we now do, we it, do it, it's a different kind of story because yes. I, I have never been there. I don't know what you're talking about. Mm. You know, so we need to know, and, and, and that is why I'm also wary with numbers. I think there, there was that part where we get in, we got in, we're like, this, this mm. thing is working. Mm. And then, then we started bringing the numbers, which was nice. Right? Mm. But now you talk ownership and you bring numbers and you, 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 you don't have exposure, you have a problem, mm. right? So I think now we need to really, really look at these models a little bit to say, how do we start, you know, a bit smaller, but much more with impact, right? Because when you start there, there's five of us. We see it working. Mm. And then now as Gavin, I'm looking at Bopali, it's like, how oh, Bopali has started. Now each of them have, have, a, have an investment property. Mm. That makes sense to me, mm. right? It also now pushes me, how did you guys do it? Mm. No, actually we didn't start with the main, right? We went and looked for investors. Mm. We bought this first one, we refinanced it, mm. took out the money, we said, do you want us to pay you back? Say no, we put it back on the second property. Mm. Same thing, right? Now I can give you the blueprint. Mm -hmm. But if it's numbers, so there's, there's hundreds of us, 200 of us, it's great. We have the money. Mm -hmm. We can raise Which was 4 million. Yeah, we can raise the oh, 4 million. Money is not a problem. Money money is not a problem. But now your, your, your failure rate is going to be very high. Mm -hmm. Right? Because now we, we, we are looking at quantity instead of quality. Mm -hmm. And people, and as black people, they, we like to we learn by seeing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So like, oh, we've been, we're not ashamed. You've been up and down, woo, 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 but don't look, nothing. Yeah, that's uh, that's very interesting. Um, so we see now Stockfells getting into property, uh, investing in the JSE, investing in businesses, and uh, all these um, asset classes that that mm. that that necessarily were only for individual or at least customized only for individual level um, but now stock files are able to get into there obviously with a bit of help or customization there and there or having a set having to have a separate entity in order to be able to get into such what has been the challenge that you have seen uh, when um, when these stock files get into these investments like property mm. or business ownership um, yeah. uh, with challenges that yeah. they like see it okay they are struggling with it i know for me it's always been that thing of it's great to have a positive mind uh it's always has been that thing that just because everything looks good on paper um and the risk is being spoken about just a little bit but we don't actually it doesn't actually register what a big of a responsibility mm. this company and you actually touched on it being a passive investor is less risky than being an active investor or even now when you bring ownership ownership comes with responsibilities yeah. that are very different from just an investor yeah. so the challenges that you have mm. seen i think the, the first part is really when uh, maybe touching on the risk element as well so the people need to know uh, what are the risk uh, when you go into this thing but I want to focus a little bit on business. Now, remember, business is, is, is a different beast altogether mm -hmm. as well. Because we take money investing in your business. Now, we also need to understand different models. You know, if maybe going back to being how it was structured or how it was supposed to work, is that you have somebody with money, you have a business. I have money, you have a business. Mm -hmm. Then I need to come and be able to invest money in your business depending on what the agreement is. Mm. So let's say now we talk about, you know, equity, right? I need to buy buying equity from your business. Mm. Now, what needs to happen with the ones that got it right is that firstly, there needs to be an issue of expertise, right? Because it's one thing to have the money, but you now have to have expertise. Mm. Now, when I'm investing in this business, mm. first of all, is this business profitable? 
Second of all, is this business scalable, right? So we need to have, from our side, first, we need to have the technical know-how. Whether we hire it or we get it within the members themselves. And normally what would happen there if we're buying a stake, there will be somebody from our side who will then sit within the board, mm. right? It's a simple kind of understanding. Mm. Because then when I'm inside, I can be able to see everything. But now if I have the money and then I'm hoying it to you and I don't know what's going on in your books, I don't know what you do, I don't know anything about you, the side the failure rate there moves from 30% to 70%. Mm. So definitely one of the challenges is a lack of involvement in the actual thing. Yes, and technical know-how, right? If we don't have it, get somebody to do it because the, it's a risky to invest in a business. Mm. It's a risk, any kind of business. Mm. It, it's a risk, especially if you are investing from outside. Mm. Right? Especially also if you're investing with people's money. Yeah, and then, then ah, that one is even worse. <laughs> then they, they will lawyer you as well, you know. <laughs> <laughs> so, but yeah, it is uh, the, uh, the pains that comes with uh, being in this uh, group. So, but my last question to you is that what does generational wealth for Stockfells look like to you? Hmm. So look, I mean, to me, I see, I see, I, I call them legacy businesses. I see uh, families having starting to create, like having assets that structural. Right? This is what I call, you know, not structural, like strategic assets, because you know there's assets. Some mm. of them depreciate, some you know, but strategic, you know, things like Do you have an example? like your property, you know. But again, depend what type of property that mm, can also be important. a strategic asset because whether you'll be there for fifty years, you know, my grand's house is still here. You know, after 70 years. So that is one of those strat uh, strategic assets. Um, so those are the things that I, I'm starting to see, you know, when I look at the future of Stockfells, where we can say, this is where it started. I even when, when I, I sit with, with Stockfells, I'll say, you know, you see you guys here, imagine your children sitting like this, mm. you know, where they say our fathers, our mothers that's started here. And that's you know, what generational. That's what it is. But... We, we need to go back to the fundamentals and let's start working with the psyche. Let's understand the traumas that we've gone through. Let's understand the, 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 pers the pers perspective around, especially money. I don't care what you do. If the, 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 the understanding of money for us is, is fragmented, uh, it's not going to work. So we now need to teach about money within our Stoffels and then start growing from that content. And to be generational yeah. wealth Stoffels. Ah, Gavin, thank you so much for joining us in, the, in, 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 this, in this podcast. I really okay. appreciate uh, the, the, the education that you bring uh, within the Stoffels. And in order really to revolutionize Stoffels, we need all the education that we can get. We need all the exposure that we can get. And people like you are, are, are always there to do for to do that for Stoffels. And I really appreciate that. Do you want to share so your social media, your contact details? How can we get your book? Yes, my book is hot, hot, hot mm -hmm. from the press. Um, so yeah, so they can get me on Facebook, Gavin Nyekom Kavela. I'm on Insta, um, Gavin Kavela. Um, Twitter, Kavela underscore Gavin. I have a YouTube channel, Gav Talks Property and Finances. Gav Talks Property and Finances. And yeah, TikTok and also. Hey, TikTok. Hey. Lena recently got yes, introduced hey. in this podcast. <laughs> they say you need to make a noise. So hey, we're going to be making noises everywhere. Oh, thank yeah, you. That everywhere. is the only I think it's so great that we can uh, educate yeah. in these platforms while yeah. also being social. So uh, thank you very much. Thank you for being here. Uh, thank you so much. Well, stuff fellas, uh, that is it. You know that there is a lot of work to be done in order to be the stock fellas that can leave wealth for our kids so that we can be a generational wealth type of stock fellas. Thank you for joining us today. My name is Balis Alemolo. Remember to get my book and follow me on social media. I'm also on TikTok. <laughs> <laughs> Bali underscore Lingolo also on Twitter, same, and on Instagram. And remember to catch all our content 
on YouTube at Finlight and on TikTok also. But remember to listen, Spotify, while you are gymming and doing your stuff, we are on Spotify. All our episodes are right there. Thank you so much for your support. Property, housing, skills, this is revolution, stop fail for every rural blockchain, crypto, women, wealth, and wealth, Bo -bo 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 this is heaven, revolution, podcast, we are coming for everything.